Okay, let's have a look at the blank workspace. Um, this is something that does offer a bit of flexibility um, as part of your preparation towards your exam. So we'll select blank workspace. Um, you can see here that it says unassign. This is because I've already assigned it to myself as we noticed earlier. So I'll go back to the self-assigned material, click on blank workspaces, and I'm just gonna select start here. Now, all of these strategic professional exams have these blank workspaces. They're, they're pretty much all the same. Um, and it's just a template, a blank template, to give you the opportunity to use the response option, so the word processor and the spreadsheet for APM, to be able to complete questions or attempt questions that aren't on the platform. So for example, perhaps I have a printed version of the approved content maybe the revision kit. Um, so on my desk next to me, I'm looking at a printed question and I wish to actually complete my answer to that printed question um, using the CBE functionality. So if I was looking at APM, for example, I would choose the APM question that I wish to attempt from my revision kit and I would enter my answer in the word processor and in the spreadsheet. Um, so whilst there's no actual question content on screen, so if we select exhibit one, you can see that this is blank. It's just got a holding note there saying this is an exhibit. Likewise with the requirement, um, you can see that we've just got blank um, requirements here. Um, so whilst this is an empty template, you can still answer or enter any answers you wish to into these response options. Um, so let's uh, pretend to answer a question here. Um, let's maybe enter some numbers into my spreadsheet um, and just some nonsensical numbers just for illustrative purposes. Um, and then what I can do is I can actually save these answers to PDF. So let's say that I've completed a practice question. Um, perhaps I wish to save it for my records. Maybe I wish to print it. Maybe I wish to show my tutor. Uh, maybe I, you know, I want to email it to my tutor perhaps. What I can do for the word processor is just click on this print icon. That'll bring up my print options and I can save as PDF. I can select save as PDF from my print options here. And you can see this was my pretend answer. Um, noted up the top of the page and of course I just press save um, and then choose the location on my machine where I wish to save it. Um, it's a similar thing for the spreadsheet answers so this time we have to go into edit and down the bottom of the edit menu we can see print but then again it's the same approach so we've got our spreadsheet so-called answer here I just typed in some random numbers didn't I um, I'm selecting save as PDF from my printer options and then I'm just saving to wherever I wish to uh, on my machine again. Um, if you did wish to save your answers in this fashion, um, it, it's worth noting that this is the only way to, to do that for these blank uh, workspaces. Um, so when you shut this down, it won't save onto your system anywhere. And this is because the blank workspaces aren't associated with any particular answers or any particular marking guides. So if you do wish to save your responses that you've done in these blank workspaces, do make sure you save them uh, to PDF, guys.